Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Greater Love Live. I'm Pastor Raymond, and we're here tonight with Minister Travis Falk. Hey, tonight we're going to be talking about the importance of worship in the midst of all of this mess going on in the world right now. The importance of, of continuing to have a, a life of worship, man. All right, so we're going to open up with a word of prayer, and then we're going to get into this thing. I encourage you to uh, get somewhere where you can, you can listen tonight, man. We're also at the end. Brother Charles can lead us in a few songs of worship. So I encourage you, hey, hey, get ready tonight, man. Take this time tonight for a little small time of refreshing, personal time of refreshing, bless God. So, Father, we love you, we praise you, we bless you. We thank you for this, another opportunity of giving us to gather together around your word. And, Father, we love you, we bless you. We thank you that we have the opportunity to worship you, to spend time with you, to love on you, and you love on us, Father. We thank you for this moment of worship, Father. This time in your presence. We don't take it lightly, Father, but we reverence this time, Father. We give you the glory, Father, and all the honor, Father. Speak through us tonight, Father. Speak through Minister Travis on tonight, Father. And I decree that we have ears to hear all that you're going to speak. And we give you the glory, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, for our opening scripture tonight, we're going to open up at Psalm 73, verse 28. Psalm 73, verse 28. Give me one second. Psalm 73, verse 28. Now, this is a scripture we, we, we talk almost, probably about almost a whole year, a half a year, I know, at least, on. Uh, and it's talking about closeness. Yeah. Being close to God, all right? Now, that's, what's, that's what worship, man. Worship is beautiful, man. Yeah. I thank God for praise. Don't get me wrong. And I love to praise the Lord. Thank God for all of that. But don't, don't cut the worship on there. Let me Give me an opportunity to worship also, all right? Okay. Psalm 73, verse 28 says, But it is good for me to draw near to God. Yeah, that is good for me yeah. to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all his works. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful, King James. But, 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 but hear the voice translation. The voice translation says, the closer I am to you, my God, the better. Because life with you is good. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> the closer I am to the Lord, hear it, it's better. Hear it, life is better. Yeah. Uh, marriage is better. The house is better. Ministry is better. Uh, health is better. Everything is better. When is it better, Pastor? The closer I am to the Lord. The closer I am to you, my God, the better. Why? Because life with you is good. Worship is good. It's good to be in the presence of the Lord, man. It's good to take a moment to get away from the cares of this world. To get away from the noise of this world. To get away from the election. Yes. <laughs> to get away from all the mess that's trying to attack your mind. It's good for you to draw close to God. It's better. It's better to be in God's presence than allow the enemy to bombard your mind all day with worries. It's better, man. The closer I am to you, my God, here, the better. Things get better when? When I worship. Mm. When I'm in God's presence, yeah. things get better because life for him is good. Hear me, hear me. It was never God's will for man to try to live in this earth without God. It was never God's will for you to be trying to live without close fellowship, close relationship with, with, without, with God. You have to have God in your life. Remember in the garden, we see God coming to Adam in the cool of the day looking for him. What was he looking for? Fellowship. What was he looking for? Someone, I want to spend time with you, Adam. Where art thou? Where are you, Adam? It's time for what? Fellowship. God always knew that for man to be successful in life, we need his presence, man. We need his presence. All right? So listen, my God, man. Enter in tonight. Don't let nothing distract you tonight. Tell the babies to go sit down. <laughs> Cut a cartoon off them or something. But you do what you got to do to get you a few minutes alone. So enter to God's presence, man. God, I believe with all my heart. We all need it. Well, I know we all need it. You know what I'm telling you? We have tonight with us Minister Travis Fall. For, to my personal opinion, one of the best worshipers I know. Uh, I, I, I rely heavily on this brother for, for, you, for worship and, and they tell me what's, what's hot right now. You know, I've asked one time, what's, what's good, man? Give me something. What's going on out there? You know, because he has the ear worship. 
You know, and I, I, I trust him. He said, it's hot. I, when he told me about Maverick, hey, I immediately went to him. Hey, let's see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I believe the brother, when he comes to worship, I believe what the brother's telling me. He t he'll tell me too also. No, that ain't you know that. I like that brother. Man. So we, right now, I'm just going to turn on uh, Brother Travis Blues, and we're just going to flow and see what God leads us. All right. Come on, Doc. So, yeah, man, I'm grateful for being here, man. Um, this is home for me, you know, so. I love to come because I can just be myself. Mm -hmm. so, and I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be here and just to share my heart about this uh, year we've been in. My uh, God, God. Man, Good God. I really believe with everything that I am that because for me, when the pandemic happened, I was uh, very busy. Mm -hmm. um, I just moved back to the area, so I was trying to get reestablished. So I was taking, I'm an electrician on the side, so mm -hmm. every job that they, they were calling, I was taking it. I know that's right. You know? <laughs> and uh, that had been my way of life probably the last five years. Mm -hmm. It was super busy, super busy. And uh, you know, we, we say all the time, God, I wish I had more time with my kids. God, I wish I had more time <laughs> with my family. God, I wish I had some time off from work, and boom, it happened. You know, mm, it happened. It did happen, huh? I mean, you know, we hear about this, you know, diseases and stuff that spread through the land in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, but man, to be here and living in it was, for me in the beginning, it was rough because I was so busy. Yeah. So because of right. you know busyness. Um, it's a good thing in the bad. Yeah, it's, yes, sir. You know, it's not so, always it's not always bad. I see, right. you know that. It's right. busy. Right. It's busy. You know, <laughs> so, um, you know, sometimes when you're busy, I had more than enough work. You know, and when the pandemic happened, they put us on lockdown. I had literally just I got hired at the church I served at in February, mm -hmm. and in March they shut everything down. You know, so at first I was worried, you know, like, well, yeah, we can't go in people's houses and work. You know, we can't assemble at the church. And I tell you, man, God has a way of directing you. Because mm -hmm. um, I know so many of my friends that are worship leaders. We have a strong community here in, in Hampton Roads, and a lot of them were laid off mm -hmm. or hours cut. You know, they had this year has been a rough year for them, but and I tell you, leading me to the church that I'm at and just being obedient to God, man. Uh, we haven't missed a beat this year. That's we right. honestly, like, for talk honestly, it. this year um, has probably been one of the strongest years mm -hmm. spiritually mm -hmm. and financially That's right. um, for my household, mm -hmm. man. Is I, I give all credit to not being busy <laughs> because I was finally able again to get back to waking up in the morning, going away. Mm -hmm. and God, I said I got back to it. And my I'm, God, God, man, my God, it it changed everything. My Lord, it, man. It, man, there's so many things we can share tonight, man. But, um, you know, we, tonight we're talking about the importance of worship. Mm -hmm. You know, so I know we all know what worship is, you know, and if we can clearly define it, it's not that upbeat song mm -hmm. or that slow song mm -hmm. or that mid tempo song. Or it's not even when at the end of the slow song the music drops out and everybody's singing together, <laughs> you know. But I will define worship as my harsh response mm. to God's presence. Yes, sir. Uh, um, yes, sir. And there's so many vehicles to get there. Whether mm -hmm. it's prayer and intercession, or mm -hmm. you know, listening to worship, or singing, you know, songs and spiritual songs, or mm -hmm. just studying the Word. You know, whatever mm -hmm. your vehicle is that you worship. Mm -hmm. To get to the presence, and you know, God has blessed me with 
um, musical abilities. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I used mm -hmm. to get there. Yes, sir. Um, so I got back to waking up in the morning and that passion again to run to God's presence. Yes, sir, Doc. Because when you're busy, um, I heard a pastor say before, you only crave what you spend time with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's think about that for a second. Mm -hmm. If I'm busy, 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 mm -hmm. and I'm running here to do a job, running there to do a job, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to have a, a drawing or a longing mm -hmm. to get to God's presence. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, you know, yeah. that's right, the appetite. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. it, it's just not there. Mm -hmm. Because you, my heart and my focus is, so is yeah. listen, I got to work, 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 work. Yeah. got to drive to finish this household. Shh. I gotta make sure my kids got what they need. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. That's your passion. Mm -hmm. So, man, I would heavily, I was convicted. And the truth of the matter is, like, third week of March, I got COVID. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, man, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be here. Yes, after sir. experiencing that and so many people have lost their lives. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yes, just sir. grateful, man. Yes, sir. And, and yes, sir. you know, I had already gotten back to just running the God's presence, running the God's presence. And, you know, sometimes we, but the busyness was still there. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to go here and lead worship yep. to keep money coming in. Mm -hmm. And I and I didn't even go to lead. I went to hang out with some friends because he was leaving. Mm -hmm. And we all got it that night. Mm. Um, because sometimes we just busy, 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 and God trying to slow us down. Mm -hmm. And really turn us back to him, trying to focus our emotions, our affections, mm -hmm. and our, our thoughts. He wants us to turn it back for him. But, you know, he give us that time, and we still busy, busy, busy. Mm -hmm. So I made it through COVID. And and that's the trap, man. Yes. It's the trap of life. And, it, and, it's, and again, it's not even, it's not a sin. No. But it's just a trap, it's to, a trap. to get you to, to get us to always be thinking about self-preservation. Yeah. If I'm always thinking about how I'm going to take care of this, how I'm going to pay this, and like you said, whatever I'm spending time with, that's what, that's what I'm going to have an appetite that's for. Sure. So exactly. I'm always going to be pursuing, and don't get me wrong, but we're always going to be pursuing money. We're always going to be pursuing opportunities. And, and like you said, and, and we can be so busy that the things of God is like put on the backside. You know what I'm saying? And God is crying for fellowship. And he's he's hungry, man. He went out. He went out. Uh, I don't know who sang it. I heard this, this, I don't know if it was a secular song or what, but a young lady was singing, and she was, the song was about, uh, it was saying something about, can you focus on me? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all heard the song, yeah. but the song, and, and, I, and, I, and I actually, it's a secular song, but I'm like, man, that's, I hear that, God. And it was just yeah. saying, baby, can you focus on me? Can you focus on me, yeah. please? Yeah. Can you give me some time? Yeah. I'm trying to help you. I don't know who's singing, but the song just said, baby, can you focus on me? Yeah. Why? Because life with me is better. Yeah, man. That's, that's good looking, man. So, uh, scriptures I've been reflecting on lately, man. Psalm 16, verses 7 through 11. Mm. That I will bless the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my, con my conscience instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Mm. 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 Yes, sir. Doc. And because he is at my right hand, I won't be shaken. So let's pause right there for a second. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. you know, the psalm this year is this song. This psalm is based on this writing about God's presence. Mm. Okay, and he starts off saying, I will bless the Lord who counsels me. So the benefit of, of God's presence is you're going you to be a counsel, counsel man. from the greatest mind. My God, yes, sir. That yeah. there is. That there is. <laughs> you get counsel, counsel from the, the creator of yes, everything. Sir. Yes, sir. No. When well, you come to his presence, you, you gain counsel. Yeah. Okay. What a benefit that is, my Lord. No. Oh, man. And, uh, even at night, my conscience instructs me. Now, this right here, um, I got a chance to share um, what I podcast at the church mm -hmm. this week. And this one really stood out, you know, because 
we are not always here in in the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. and we're not always in pursuit of the presence of God because of life. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the, the psalmist here is saying is even at night. So at night you at the house, got the kids ready for bed. Mm -hmm. Dinner is over. You know your wife go to bed, and I say you stay up. Mm -hmm. Now, my pastor teach me it's not good for me to be alone, not even in your house. Yeah, no, yes, sir. That's what it, it, it <laughs> want to get you by yourself. So, yes, sir. You know, yes, so, sir. But because you've been in the presence of God, mm -hmm. His presence gives our conscience an awareness of His righteousness. Mm -hmm. That's good, dog. That's good, mm -hmm. man. Another benefit of being in the presence of God is His presence will always remind you. Mm -hmm. When that when you when you're in the crossroads of you know you ain't got no business logging in and checking this out, mm -hmm. when you you are, you yeah. are on the crossroads of that His presence is like, I hey, that. That's right. remember my righteousness. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of us spending time in God's presence. Mm -hmm. It stays with you. Mm -hmm. That's good, dog. That's good. You, may, you, may, you may leave his presence, mm -hmm. the actual secret place or the actual time that you spend mm -hmm. with him, but when you move away, you got to go take care of things in life. Mm -hmm. His presence is with you. Mm -hmm. He said, I have set the Lord always before me. So the song is like, listen, this presence of God is so good. awesome. That's good. I've set him always before me. My so God. he's always my first thought. Mm -hmm. That's it, man. He's always uh the And they got nothing to do with church. No. Nothing to do with church. Nothing. My God, no. Nothing at all. That's strong right there. <laughs> you know, he 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 he's not talking about he's not talking about being when, he's in, when he's in the, in the church. <laughs> you know, he said at night. At the night season, yes. Yeah. Sir. My so God. Say, God. Because he's at my right hand, I, I will not be shaken. So I set him all the way before me. Yes, sir. So he's always at the forefront of my thoughts, of my actions, mm -hmm. of my speech. It's him, his word, his goodness, mm -hmm. his correction. That's what I set before me, mm -hmm. his presence, his spirit. And because he's at my right hand, meaning he's always by our side. Mm -hmm. You don't have the days of song is I will not be shaken. Nah, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Cause, cause, Cause here's here's what I'm hearing. Alright, now think about this, man. When you said that even in the night council, he, he instructs me. Yeah. Even when I'm I'm attempting to do something I got no business doing. That's or saying so, I got to be saying. He still instructs me. Yes. And 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 and, and, and uh, he tells us in the new covenant that he convicts us, convicts us of righteousness. Yes. Now he does. He doesn't show up telling you you're going to hell. Right. You're good for nothing. I no. can't believe you're doing this. No. He shows up as you just shared, instructing you yes. and telling you that you are you are the righteousness of God. Yeah. My God. Remember, remember. Who God. You are. God, that you are the beloved. Yeah. You are accepted. You are chosen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're the child of the king. That's you don't do this. Mm -hmm. This is this, this too low for you. Mm -hmm. I need something better than this. Right. My. Right. I don't need you to be looking at women on, mm -hmm. on, on a screen. Mm -hmm. I can get you a woman that yeah. pleases you or whatever. Yeah. I don't need you pursuing this, this, and that. I can satisfy your every need. That's it. Just stay close to me. I have something better, man. Mm -hmm. He ain't showing up to convict you nope. and condemn you. Nope. He's showing up to love you out of you. That's wrong, man. And help you remember. My God, that's wrong, Chief. Yeah. That's wrong, man. Uh, that's good stuff, man. Man, just the, the thought of what we've been walking through this year. Jesus. Because he's at my right hand, I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken. That's her thought. To not be shaken is to not fall. To not give way. Mm -hmm. So that means when you're in temptation mm -hmm. or temptation is before you because he's with you mm -hmm. you won't give way you won't give in to it yes sir yes sir you know that's and we just talking about 
the benefits of being in his presence. In his presence. That's, That's all we talk about right now. But this is, man, like this this scripture alone has helped me this year. Mm. To like, you know what they say, we can't gather in church. And you know, for worship, we can ask for us. That's what I thought, yes sir. Because <laughs> we were, the thing that we were created to do, we don't get to help our brothers mm -hmm. and sisters in the assembly. Mm -hmm. We don't get to usher them to the presence of God. And so, you know, it got rough for me. I was like, man. Mm -hmm. Then, I, then I, I had to really think like, hey, that's my gift. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what he's put me in the earth to do. Mm -hmm. But I can still worship. Yeah, sir. I, yeah, yeah, that's it, man. I can still worship. Yes, sir. And I can be that one number, man. Think about it, man. Because what, what I'm seeing, even as a pastor, with, 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 with the with the you know the churches being shut down and all this stuff, people can't get gathered. Like you said earlier, it's taking a minute for that people's appetite yeah. to get stirred. Because like, we've been yeah. cause that time of separation been away for so long. Good gracious, though. for so long, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like I tell you, like I was saying, the last five minutes of my life have been busy, busy, busy. Yeah, busy. yes, sir. And I've, I've served as a worship leader, but man, when I think about it, mm -hmm. because I wasn't. Making that connection regularly, man. Mm -hmm. You know, man, like, and it's so easy, man. It is, bro. And I don't care who you are. It's so easy. <laughs> it's easy. Life has that ability to get you so consumed with life that you, whether you even you paying no mind, that you're, you're not even spending that proper time in God's presence right. like you like you used to, man. And that's what everybody, man. Yeah. And that's what 2020 has done. Yes. My God, yes. the guy it calls us to separate. Mm -hmm. Then you got all this, you got this election mess going on. Yeah. You got the COVID going on. Yeah. You got you got people, man. You got you got unemployment lines wrapped around buildings yeah. and people trying yeah. to figure out how they're gonna feed their family. And I promise you, all this and, and a lot of it is consuming people's minds. Yes. And then I spending time in His presence, man. Yeah. The, the last thing I want to point out about this scripture is uh, the B section of verse 9. Verse 9 says, Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. This is because you've been in God's presence. Mm -hmm. But it says, My body will also dwell secure. Mm -hmm. Now, when I got, dove into that, this is what I got. Okay. I can live here in the earth with confidence and in safety with the unsuspecting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, how, how difficult is that? Because, you know, we're all always naturally suspicious. <laughs> suspecting something. Something right. You know, when you, you know, I had a family member talking, you know, in the car with her, and she was just really frustrated. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why this is, this is the craziest year. I haven't been through the worst that I've ever been through. And I could do nothing. Ever positive, mm -hmm. you know, it's easy to get sucked into the pity party. And, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, but yeah. immediately I just, you know, hey, you're not the only person that's dealing with something, mm -hmm. you know. I, I really believe God is trying to help you with patience. Mm -hmm. It's everything that she was trying to do to move forward mm -hmm. and be prosperous and be held up, mm -hmm. you know, and she was just, just overly frustrated down front and I can do nothing but to say, hey, listen, I don't have the means to fix the situation. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, man, like, God is working on you, so just surrender this. Yes, what it, whatever it is that, you know, he's trying to teach you, surrender and mm -hmm. learn and move forward. You know, and not spending time in the presence of God, mm -hmm. I would have been like, Man, I yeah. feel you, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's been yeah, crazy this year, yes, sir. Like, for real. Yeah, the doubt it's not easy. You yeah, know what yes, sir. I went to that. That's another benefit of being the presence of God is when you when you see somebody dealing with something, man, you can just go to them in peace and in love and, mm -hmm. and, and share the goodness of God. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I shared. I told her, I said, you know, I don't first be dealing with something. Mm -hmm. Some days I wake up, my car don't start. So I know mm -hmm. I got to get a starter for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And one day, I wondered if it was work, couldn't go do it. 
when the car was starting, my wife at the time, I think she was in D.C. or something. Mm -hmm. And for that old day, I said, like, okay, God. Yeah, right. <laughs> when, you know, when you're to my little, I got two, got two big ones going through the second bedroom, get into some worship, do some writing, mm -hmm. you know, whatever I can do to spend time with God mm -hmm. and hear from Him. Um, I think that's one thing that has really happened for me this year is when I, even in a busy season when I was really, even when I got a chance to spend time with God, I would just, I would be selfish. I would run in enough to get what I needed. Mm -hmm. run in, you know what I'm saying? Okay. There was no, it wasn't a communication. Mm -hmm. It was just me coming to get what I needed. And yeah, right back out of here. <laughs> yeah. But now, with yes, all the time that we have, it's like not being in a rush, mm -hmm. getting the presence of God, and you just sit there mm -hmm. and you just listen. Yeah. See, he, he wants us to commune with us, He wants to speak with us. I don't think people understand how important it is, man. And here's my thing. Even in the verse 7, it says, I will rest for who has given me counsel. Mm -hmm. Majority of what I do in life comes out of his presence. That's it. I, I, I mean, people, I, I, I'm not, people are like, well, how do you come up with what you want to teach? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I spend time in his presence, and he yeah. gives it to me. Yes. I don't, it's not like, oh, cry, 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 yeah. like, I'm not like I'm studying five hours right. looking for a word. Right. I spend time in worship. Yeah, man. And when you spend time in worship, he gives you counsel, yeah. he leads you, he guides you. Uh, the marriage situation, the children's situation, yeah. all of that. That one, man, is so important. In, in 2020, this year, oh my God, yeah. it is so important to make That's sure right. you're spending time with God in worship and in prayer. As Brother Trump just said, he was busy, busy, busy. Yeah, but then he had to hit his man. And, and, and the crazy part about it, here all you had to do, he had to slow down. Yeah. Slow life down. That's it. Because I remember Prophet Roger shared one time about she was at uh, the library. Mm -hmm. And she was just looking at the one at the library and how all the cars were just busy yeah. going somewhere. Yeah. And that's life. Yeah. Life is trying to consume people. And, 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 and what has to happen is we got to be willing to slow down. Yeah. Slow down. Yeah. Don't rush. Don't try to get in the head of God. Spend your proper time in his presence, man. Mm -hmm. He'll give you counsel. Mm -hmm. he instructs you. Uh, you, you, you. How did you say that last part? You could spend life uh, uh, well, un, unsuspecting and sure. Unsuspecting and sure. I'm good. Yeah. Even with nothing around, everything around you saying you're not good. Mm -hmm. I'm good. That mm -hmm. comes from spending time with God's presence. People around you like, why aren't you losing your mind? Mm -hmm. Because I spent time. I have this God. for sure. <laughs> Good God, man. Yeah. Even, even verse 11. Look, you have made known to me the path of life. Mm -hmm. in, in his presence. presence. In his presence. In his presence. In his presence. He makes known to us. In his presence. My guidance God. and direction. But listen, this is when you got to make decisions, you go in his presence. In his presence. And he, he's going to give you. He makes known to you the path of life. We would never die. Intended to try to live life no. without God. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's not even logical to do so when He created it. <laughs> and, you know? Know? <laughs> and yet we get so busy and He always get pushed out. Yeah. He always get pushed out. We can't live. He tells it clearly in John, He says, Without me, you can do nothing. Right. And yet we keep kind of hit it life yeah. and get it and hit it and hit it and hit it. And God is like, You can't do this without me. <clears throat> and he's so gracious, yeah. so merciful. If you feel like you can do it without him, he'll let you try. Go ahead. Keep you know, keep hitting your head up against yeah. that wall until you realize, you know what? I can't do this without you, God. Yeah. And that's the, that's the humble man. Yeah. He gives grace to the humble. Who is the humble man? The humble man is the man who realizes, God, without you, I can do nothing. I tried, God, I feel <laughs> I, I ain't nothing I can do without you. There's nothing I can do without you. And in his presence, he has shown me the path of the life. The path of the life. Come on, man. Yeah. Come I mean, on, man. Like, so, just in these, what, five verses, going in the presence of God, gives us, he gives us counsel. Come on, man. He instructs our conscience. He's always with us. He's always with us. Mm -hmm. 
And because he's with us, we won't be shaken. My God, God. Our heart will be glad and our tongue will rejoice. Our body will dwell securely. I mean, this is just seven verses. I mean, it's just five verses of just important words. Come on, man. So, let's move to 2 Corinthians 3 and 18, man. And we who with unveiled faces all reflect the glory of God mm -hmm. are being transformed into his image with intensifying glory. Yeah, glory, glory. Which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. We will become or be transformed into what we reflect. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Man. Here on the earth, there's a lot of mirrors. Mm, that's good. Man. As my mom pastor said this week, this is a mirror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A crew is a mirror. Television is a mirror. Mm -hmm. Anything can be a mirror. Mm -hmm. That's good. Man. So when we when we spending time with things that. We know we shouldn't be spending time with it. Mm -hmm. We're being transformed into, into the, image. the image of something that's not Jesus. Not a little, uh, that's wrong, man. That's good, man. Listen, this is like the importance of making that connection with the presence of God. Like, if you're going to spend time with something, spend time with something that's going to give you counsel. Yeah. yeah. That's going to give you instruction. Yeah. That's going to never leave you. Spend time with something that's what they call it, uh, a temporary fix, mm -hmm. or a temporary mm -hmm. moment of pleasure. Mm -hmm. Like one one of the things I hear a lot, you know, people like they want to know what they call to do. I don't know what I'm called to do. I don't know my purpose. And he clearly told us back in Psalm 16, in His presence, He'll show you the path of life. And then people, and, then, and then when I say stuff like that, people are like, come on, man, we gotta do something more than that. It's, <laughs> it's not, not, it's man. really not. It's really you something. just got spent time with God. I know you want me to give you a, a, a long this theological. Big, big, wow. Yeah, it's oh, not. Okay. It's no, not. I don't, it's I, it's, I don't have that. Yeah. All I have to tell you is, Pastor, how do I find out what I'm called to do? It's real spend time with his presence. It is. The very, the spend time with the Creator. He'll show you what? Why He created you. He'll show you your path. He'll show you a purpose. It's not. It's not mystical. Yeah. It's not. It's not off in the deep. It's not. You just gotta spend time in it. And I don't tell them the hardest thing. Yeah. Cut that phone off. Yes. Yeah, that's what Church said. That phone is a mirror. Yeah. That's not. That's not the image you want. You yeah. need to find out what you called to do. And the only one who can tell you that is God. My pastor shared when he did it at the podcast. He said. If, if you follow somebody on Instagram and they are angry, you're going to be transformed into who they are. Mm. Oh boy. Like, I don't mean like you click on and follow. Right. I mean like yeah. you go to their page every day, see what they post. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. And man, when he said it, I was like, mm. wow. Because we, we all guilty of that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's fine, oh, that's it. So when we spend time, when we worship the Lord, when we come into the presence of God, we start to reflect who He is. My Lord, God. Mm. That right there, like, if I want to reflect anything or anyone, mm -hmm. I would want it to be God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would want it to be God. Especially mm -hmm. um, so what's going on right now, man. Yeah. We need to be reflecting the Lord. Man. Yeah. My Lord. Uh, like, being able to sit with one of my family members and tell her of the goodness of God yeah. was a reflection. Mm -hmm. That was me reflecting God. That's what I thought, man. And that's that's what 
religion complicates it. But true Christianity is simple. It's easy. Just, it's just worship. You worship, and, and it's not you can't about training. You don't need no training. You just, you just, you know, that's how it responds. As Mr. Charles shared with earlier, you're just responding to his love. My Lord, my yeah. Lord. Respond. That's it. Respond. Now I tell him all the time, no one got to tell me to uh, praise the Lord, <laughs> worship God. Man, let me tell you, when, I, when, I, when you get a revelation of his goodness, yeah. and his love and his grace yeah. and his mercy, you don't know I got to tell you to worship God? No way. No, sir. No, sir. He, no, no. No, man. No. No. You, you, you're talking about God's grace and his goodness. About two months ago, I was leaving Franklin, and I love watermelon. Mm -hmm. so, so I hate going into the store to get the ones that don't have seeds because I know it ain't real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, ain't, it ain't what I grew up on. Right, you got to see that. So I'm leaving. <coughs> I'm doing work down there. I was doing some work down and I see this older guy. When I was getting back on the main highway 58, he was across the street. Well, oh, yeah, I got two watermelons. And I paid him, and he gave me the wrong change. So I said, "Hey, man, this is the wrong change. You're know, supposed to give me." Uh, he gave me eighteen back, and he was supposed to give me eight back. Mm -hmm. Cause the big watermelon was six dollars. Mm -hmm. So I said, "No, nah, man, this is too much." He was like, "Oh, man." Been out here all day. It's hot. Da, da, da. Appreciate your eyes. I said, man, absolutely. So I'm leaving right now. Brought all that here all the way close. I'm on 264, and I got this weird thing about police officers. I don't like to be near them. <laughs> I don't like to drive past them or nothing. So I'm like passing Greenwood, and the cop comes on 264. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving Greenwood. Yeah. And I see him, so when I see cops come up in my lane, I always get over yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. I go to move over, they need to check the lane beside me, and it's a truck beside me. Come on, bro. So I'm running him off the road. Mm. Nah, because I just ran this guy off the road. Yeah. I know you I'm know supposed to get pulled right. over. Uh -huh. I know I'm supposed to get pulled over. And the cop just drive by the way. <laughs> I know I'm sitting there like <laughs> I know that's right. And then God brought back to my remembrance that you didn't take advantage of that whole He showed thing. mercy. That's right. That's yeah, all the mercy. They showed the same mercy. And, and telling you, man, like people don't make decisions like that then they spend the time in the presence of No, me. oh no. Most people would have seen that I paid two dollars for you. I'm not a ghost. Yes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but that's I see the goodness of God, man. And we, re you know, we, we reflect who he is. Mm. I was reflecting who he was in that moment. Like, listen, mm. this ain't the right amount. I give the money back. I'm going to have it. That's his mercy. Yes, sir. No. So in, not even 30 minutes later, yes, sir. I needed the same needed mercy. Same mercy. No, thank you, my God. No, yes, sir. And that's the beauty of who our God is. That alone is enough. I mean, I went to the house and just cut on the worship and just went laid in the floor. I was so, I was so overcome with gratitude. Yes, sir. No. I, I just don't like encounters. So right, I guess. I don't have nothing against them. I just right. don't like encounters. You know, exactly, I understand. You know, I understand. So, I understand. I'm so grateful. I got to the house and I was like, man, God, you didn't even have to do that. Mm. I know that was you. Mm. I know that was you. Whether you did, whether he didn't see it or whatever the case, I know it was you showing me mercy. Yes, sir. Because I had just did the same, same thing as somebody else. Shh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Share that right there. I'll see, see what you got right there. Which one? Before we, before we go in and worship, you know. This? Now you're sharing right here. Oh. Right, what are some of the things we struggle with placing before God? Mm. And this is question based out of um, Matthew 22-37 when Jesus was asked what is the greatest commandment he replied 
love the Lord your God with all your heart, mm -hmm. all your soul, and all your strength. Mm -hmm. So I ask the question, like, what are some of the things, like, what does it mean to love the Lord your God with mm -hmm. all your, your heart, your soul, and your strength? And what are some of the things that we struggle with placing before God? Mm -hmm. You know, it could be food, it could be sports, arts, music, comfort. People say comfort, I get it. Mm. It's like, I love a peaceful house. Okay. So, if I've been working or it's been a crazy week, I can put me wanting to just chill and be comfortable before mm -hmm. spending time with God. Mm -hmm. And it's so, it's so many things mm -hmm. control, power, achievement, work money, and even relationships. Yeah. All these things can, I mean, think about this. I'm gonna share this, because I, I, I read this on, uh, I don't know if you know about, um, what is this? Um, I can't <coughs> remember the name of it right now. But it is, what it is is, is Netflix for Christians. Okay. Right now, media. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like a bunch of teachings, mm -hmm. video teachings, readings, mm -hmm. uh, everything you can think of. You can just go there, sign up, and you can search relationships, mm -hmm. love, worship, mm -hmm. spending time with God, whatever it is that you want to learn more about. Mm -hmm. You can go, it's a reference. So I was up there. And this, this guy, Bob Coffin, he said, while worship involves more than love, it isn't, it doesn't involve less than love. Mm -hmm. Because what we love most becomes our God. Mm -hmm. That's wrong, so what do we put it before God? Mm -hmm. Now I don't mean put it before him like putting something before him, like what do we do? Yeah. Like we're gonna have to take I'll take his place, yes. I remember man, when I first got saved, man. I used to leave church to go watch football. Yeah. Like, he ain't done yeah. no one o'clock. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to watch my boys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the, the more you, like you said, the more I found out about his love, That's his it, grace, man. his mercy, his goodness, I was like, yo, they, they'll be all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got to see what I need, see. I need, I need, I need him. Good. Yes, sir. No. I need yes, his grace. Sir. I need his love. Yes, sir. And all those things you named, they're not. Bad it's not thing. bad thing. It's not. It's really not. It's not. But we got to make sure we allow nothing to take his place. Man. Yeah. He always has to be first. Sir. He has to be first. What is uh, sports or music, yeah. arts, uh, work, money, relationships? Because yeah. people, man, I'm going to tell you a trap. People will, will pursue a job. Yeah. That causes them to, to, to miss out on fellowship and all of these things. Yeah. Not knowing them that way, that's going to hinder them. Absolutely. That's going to hinder them, man. There's so many traps out here. Man. It is. And, you know, the, the enemy ain't using the normal stuff to give us now. Now he's using our passions. Mm, that's evil, Doc. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm passionate about music and worship, so, you know, that was the time I, I served two and a half over three years in Reno and there was a the time that I was addicted to the the, the thrill of leading worship mm. was at the forefront, mm. not the the privilege to work. Mm. That's that's wrong, man. Oh uh, yeah, I feel that. You know, yes, sir. so he'll take the thing that you're passionate about and he'll twist it and you won't even realize how have you worked for that yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so we, we always got to be careful and what helps us, what keeps us aligned is coming into his presence. Mm -hmm. That's what it turns our heart, it turns our affections, our emotions, our thought process. It turns all of that back in the right mm -hmm. alignment regularly when we spend time with him. I never want to get to the place, bro, where we're ministering gospel. I'm past, I preach the gospel. But I never want to get to the place where no longer moves me. Wow. 
Yeah. I still, I still get nervous on Saturday night sometimes. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I still, cause, cause I still, I still sometimes. If it don't move, you don't mean that to you, man. Yeah. And I don't want to get to the point where I become robotic. Yeah. And it's just I'm a preacher. Sure. And, and it's no, so easy. To oh do. man. No. It's so easy. To oh do. man. Oh man. It's so easy to get caught up in. Oh man. I don't never want to get there, man. Yeah. I still want to feel a little. Little goose, yeah. little, 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 little nerves or something. I'm preaching to God. That makes me know I'm still, I'm still, I'm still with God. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I still. That makes me know I'm, I'm, I'm still relying on Him. Relying on him. Right. But right. I want to get to the point where I'm up here relying on myself. I don't know. That's I still. Oh man. Nah. Oh man. That's true. Oh man. Yeah. I still want to get to the place where He can, He can tell me, okay, I know you got all that prepared, but do this scripture right here. Yeah. I don't know. Get to the place, man, where it's. it's I make preaching a God. Yeah. That's why, you know, that's why I on purpose make sure the other ministers of, the, of this congregation preach. Yeah. That I gotta sit my hand across down yeah. and listen to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I don't never get to play with like, this, this my church. I right. preach. No, bump that. Yeah. I'm gonna sit here and listen right. to somebody else preach this gospel yeah. and humble myself and, and listen I hear to a word too. I don't never get to the place, man, where I don't depend on him, man. That's trouble, man. Yeah. That's trouble. That's 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 why I say even with, even with getting messages and stuff. Yeah. Half the time when I'm up here, bro, trying to man, I'm telling you, I'm not true. I don't even get the full. Last time, I don't even see it until I'm up here. Right. I'm like, oh, right. that's why you put yeah. that together, that together. Yeah. I don't even see it, and I, and, I, and I don't want that to double leave me. And that's the beauty of relying. <laughs> yes, sir. Because because we can, yes. You can never take credit for it. No, you don't God. believe it until you say it. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Oh my Lord. And that's oh man, my that's, Lord. That's God. when you know. You know, right along with that, you you totally depended on him. And sometimes, man, you you think, man, that message I ain't hit too hard. Yeah. And that be the one that be like, that was an awesome message. Then the one know. you thought hit, they're like, yeah. oh, man, oh, oh, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's just this stuff, man. This stuff, we, this stuff in here, all we can do is trust God, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all we we gotta rely on Him, man. You know? And that's going that even a mother, yeah. Uh, a, a yeah. business owner. Yeah. It's not. It's not just ministry. It's every area of life. Marriage. You got to rely on the Lord. Uh, uh, raising your kids. You got to rely on the Lord. Oh my God. My God. Uh, uh, <laughs> and all the way. And, 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 the, and the way to do that. Spending time in His presence. He'll tell you stuff your kids doing, and then you tell them like, I don't know my mother that. God told me. Most 
well attended tent schools. So is the man. And had probably two of the best worship moments of the year. Mm. And you know, if you, if you look at it from a man of mine, said it don't make sense. That don't make sense. You know, um, but, you know, at our church we're seeing the love for God come back into the hearts of the people, yes, sir. which is bringing the life of yes, God sir. back into the church. Yeah, that's good, man. And um, it's refreshing and it's oh, God. God. to see people that you know know that. We don't we don't know what's to come. We don't know what whole what this COVID nineteen what the end result will be. And man, the people just come and worship God. Mm. I mean, just you can hear every voice singing. I mean, it is. Yeah. And I really believe it's, it's it's God's timing of hey, it's time for y'all to get back. Mm. I you know. know. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm, this year I've started to see a real hunger. Mm -hmm. um, even to the point where I got a group of worship leader friends that we gather sometime on Sunday afternoon mm -hmm. and just sit in the presence of God. And it's our ambition to write what He wants us to write. Mm -hmm. And because we've made it about what He wants, He shows up every time. That's it, man. He gives us, he's been giving us songs, and right now that's just all they are. We're just trying to build a community for each other, be there for each other, stay unified. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's to come, what he wants us to do, but right now we just appreciate a time to get together with other like-minded people mm -hmm. to get in God's presence. And not one time has he not met us. I know that. Though. I mean, he's been there, and songs have been birthed every time we gather. Oh, every man. time, and it's encouraging. Mm -hmm. It's so encouraging. Mm -hmm. And man, we can encourage you today. It's like, man, put that phone down. Shh. Turn that, turn that Netflix off because mm -hmm. you actually have time now. It, it ain't ain't no more excuses of. And I just need more time. Mm. That's not an excuse anymore. God has slowed the entire earth. <laughs> Good gracious, God. Like, hey, y'all, keep Shh. busy. Let's throw this down. Shut this down. Shut this down. God, dog. Huh. I know for me, it was a wake up call. Mm. And my wife talks a lot about Don't people self evaluate? You know what I'm saying? That's one of her pet peeves. When people do something wrong mm -hmm. and they know it's wrong, but just keep going. Keep going with that. But I challenge you to self evaluate. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, what am I reflecting? Mm -hmm. Have I really given God my best today? Um, like, do the self evaluation. Mm -hmm. And if you have it and you know you have it, don't let anything. Stop you from getting there mm -hmm. and going and spend that time. Nothing. Don't let anything stop you. Because mm -hmm. you have the time now. I'm I'm stronger today spiritually because of COVID 19. Mm -hmm. Because it slowed me down and it gave me no more excuses of I gotta go work to yeah, get my friend. Nope. I worked less during COVID 19 and Probably the best financial state we've ever had. That's bananas. Does that make sense? I'll be real. I'll be totally transparent. With that talk. <laughs> 2020 for the, for my household, as yeah. you just said, yes. has been the greatest year financially. It makes sense. Man. Like, and, and people are like, wait a minute, how's that happening? Yeah. All I can encourage you to do, as my brother just said, it's, no, it's nothing natural. It's nothing, I can't naturally, we can't take credit for no, it. Man. We seen money come in from some of the craziest places. When we, we call nobody, when we ask nobody, we just set our hearts and minds to do what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. That's what we twenty twenty, and I and I know again, I know for some has been a hard, a rough year, but truthfully, this has been one of the best years of of, of, of our lives. Pastor, I can 
honestly say, when I was doing my little side hustle that I was for work, before 2020, before COVID, mm -hmm. I would always call people that I made connections with. Hey, you know if anybody that needs some, some work done, give them my number, mm -hmm. I'll pass a card out. I haven't called anybody in 2020. And every time I go in the presence of God, I, I never go well with me. Because I know, man, Lord, I know that I'm his son. And he gonna take care of me. So listen, Lord, I was God. telling the neighbor <laughs> making with me today, and uh, oh, Lord Jesus. We, we didn't do any work. Yeah, because it was a miscommunication. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, like I was sharing with him, I was like, bro, I looked at the top of the month, I looked at my budget, and was like, okay. God, you know it ain't gonna all add up. I know the truck, dog. So then I get a call. Hey, I need you to do this for me. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, can you do that, such and such? Because I need that done. And that was just since the first. In the day, hey, I gave your number to such and such because they need the little done. And it's like, man, like I'm serving a God who knows what my needs Come on, are. Doc. I don't even have to ask Come on, him. Doc. Come on. I don't have to go before the presence of God. Nope. You know. You ain't got to do it. Yes. You don't you have to know. Do it. We need such and such to make, yeah. make nope. the money for them. And you know, bananas, Doc, I'm going to be honest with you. That prayer hasn't even been a prayer prayed Not one in a time. minute. I don't even, I don't yeah. even, I don't, I don't even, yeah. I don't even, about stuff like that. That ain't no need. When he knows. What you remind him of what he know already? I'm not, I, I be telling you, I'm not even going this front just talking about money. Nope. Talking about bills, like that. All, I'm, all I'm here to do, Lord, is to love you, nope. worship you, spend time with you, all that other stuff. You got all that, as we just said, he going to take care of that. We good. We live in high, you see, unexpected assurance. Nah, you got an unexpected Come assurance. Come on, man. Man. Let me tell you, man, I was in Reno, like my first year there, and I was struggling, not financially, but mentally, mm -hmm. because it was a new city, there was no family, and everything that we did, everything we made, we had to trust God. Mm -hmm. And Robert Rogers sent me a uh, message on the message. Mm -hmm. Father told me to remind you that the worship is your work. Don't forget that. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, that's the beauty of the God that we serve. Mm -hmm. that we're in the time of need mm -hmm. of anything, whether it's just wanting to make the right decision, mm -hmm. wanting to go in the right direction. That's it, He's yeah. like, hey, get Travis and tell me yeah. about him. Yeah. That's it, man. That's and, it. I, and, and it's like, <laughs> when I got the message, I stopped laughing, like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I ain't spent time with God all week. I'm just down. That's it, that's it. You know what I'm saying? It. It's, man, I'm telling you. See, I can get his attention. I'm going to send it to somebody yeah. else. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. And, he, and, and the crazy thing is, <coughs> he seeks worship. Yes, God. Come on, man. He like, it ain't like, it's like, he walk up in here, and he, he's seeking. Yes, he's sir. Like, is there yeah. someone here that will worship? He's, he's, Open in the closet. I don't see nobody in the sanctuary. Let me go back here. He's seeking. He's seeking worship, man. Mm -hmm. Look, all right, this is what we do. Because again, we can be all right. <laughs> all right, because it's, we're talking about the goodness of God, man. I mean, yeah, man. there's no, there's no cut off. You know, we, we too got to have cut off, but right. God is, is <laughs> When, his, when you meditate on his love for you, man, yeah. it's, 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 it's out there. I like a uh, Delta call that thing. Delta, we call it reckless. Yeah. His love is reckless, yeah. man. There's no, there's no depth he won't go, no height he won't climb to to get you, man, yeah. to, to spend time with you. So this is what I want you to do, all right? When you're at this period of the small, small, small transition as Brother Travis uh, set up, go somewhere. Go in your closet. If if go in the kids in the front room, go to the bedroom. Tell them you'll be back in a minute. If you give everybody around the house, go to the car for a minute. Uh, go walk around the neighborhood for a minute. Whatever you need to do to be alone with God for a moment. 
Real talk. Real talk. Especially you said, Pastor, I need answers. I need help. I need strength. Uh, I, I got a lot going on. Listen to what we're trying to tell you. There, these are the. This is the importance of worship. So take your moment. Go, 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 go where you can go. You know, go out here in the bathroom and lock the door and tell them to give you back. All right? So this is what you're going to do. Go, go ahead and do that. All right? And after which, we're going to come back and Brother Charles going to lead us in, in worship for a moment. All right? Go ahead and do that. Can you transition? Thank you. 
us a new desire for the deep things of you. Mm. To know you more than just on the surface. Take us into deep waters. Mm. Give us more wisdom. Mm. Give us direction. Give us all that we need to walk out this path of life. Mm. So Father, you're so good to us. You have an abundance of grace and abundance of mercy. You're so kind. You're loving. You're faithful. Man, this year I can say, God, more than anything, you've been faithful. Yes. And I'm grateful, Father, for your faithfulness, your steadfastness, your consistency, you being constant in my life. I'm grateful. And I pray, Father, that you would just fill the earth and just cover the earth right with your peace, with your presence. Remind us when we're away of your righteousness. Mm. Turn us, let our, our intimate connection and moments with you always, when we're away, turn us back to you. Because more than anything, we need you. As we all know, as life happens sometimes, we're, we're pulled away. Let our moments with you, our time in your word, our time uh, praying, our time in intercession, our time just laying in your presence, let it always, when we're away, point us back to you, your love, your compassion. Father, just thank you for being everything. Thank you for. And you, we have everything that we need. And we honor you tonight for that. And we're grateful. My heart is filled with gratitude to you. And you allowed me to, to obtain and get through COVID-19 mm -hmm. virus. I'm grateful because I know so many people have passed away because of it. So I'm grateful to make God. I just love you. I just love you tonight more than anything. I love you. Always, Father, just give us direction. Point us back to you. I pray that we would get back to our first love. Yes, Lord. Back to you. Stir it up in us now, God. Give us an uh, expectation of what's to come in the morning when we run into you. Mm -hmm. um, we love you, Jesus. We love you today. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hey, God bless you. My brothers, my sisters, we thank you for joining us tonight for the Greater Love Live. Be back here. We'll be back here next Thursday night, same time, and we'll continue to go forward, man. You know, even as as Minister Travis shared, it's a, it's, a, it's a stirring up, stirring up, man, and returning to that first love, man. You know, the, uh, the enemy thought he would, would hinder the church, hinder the body of Christ by yeah. stopping us from being able to come together, but the devil is a liar. We win, and we we'll use every avenue, every platform that God has made available to get this gospel out. Hey, we love you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. And we pray the rest of your evening is full of God's goodness, His grace, His love, and His mercy. Yes, In Jesus' name, Jesus. amen. God bless yes, you. Amen. God bless you.